How to grow peppers from seed. Peppers are warm season crops. They need two to three months from transplanting to harvesting. Producers generally prefer to sow the seeds in seed beds under controlled conditions and then transplant them into their final positions in the field. In case you plan to grow peppers from seed, there are some facts you need to know. Pepper seeds require at least 18 degrees Celsius solid temperature in order to germinate. As optimum temperatures, we consider those between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. It is vital for the seeds to have optimum moisture levels in order to sprout. Producers sow two seeds in every seeding pot and they use turf as a substrate for proper aeration and drainage. Furthermore, pepper seeds need to have on average relative humidity levels close to 70 to 75 percent in order to germinate. Excessive irrigation can be harmful. In some cases, the young seedlings may need a hardening period. Producers start to remove gradually the plants outdoors two weeks before transplanting. At first, they leave them out only for two hours and periodically they increase the time of outdoor exposure. How to grow peppers from seedlings Farmers may also buy plants from a legitimate seller or transplant seedlings they have grown from seeds by themselves. The right time to transplant the seedlings is when they have developed 5 to 6 real leaves and they have reached a height of 15 to 30 centimeters. Soil requirements and preparation for sweet pepper and chilies farming. Peppers do not have strict soil requirements. They grow well in a wide variety of soils. However, the plant thrives best in medium to sandy soils with proper aeration and drainage. It is a sensitive plant to both drought and water-soaked conditions. The optimum pH levels range from 6 to 7. However, we have cases in which the plants can tolerate extreme pH levels close to 5.5 or 8. The basic soil preparation starts a couple of weeks before transplanting pepper seedlings. Farmers remove any previous cultivation remainings and weeds and plow well at that time. At the same time, Farmers remove rocks and other undesirable materials from the soil. One week later, many farmers apply a basal fertilizer such as well-rotted manure or synthetic commercial fertilizer always after examination of their soil test results and always after consulting a local licensed agronomist. Most farmers integrate the basal fertilizer on the same day using tillage tractors. Some growers prefer to apply it only across the planting rows, while others spread it on the entire field. Of course, the first method is more cost-saving. The next day is probably the right time to install the drip irrigation pipes. The next and most crucial step, especially in countries with non-optimum soil temperature during the planting period, is the linear polyethylene coating. Many producers cover the rows with black or green infrared transmitting or black plastic film. They use this technique to maintain the root zone temperature at optimum levels and prevent weeds from growing. As far as organic pepper farming is concerned, things might be different and farmers may utilize cover crops in order to enrich the soil. According to UC Santa Cruz Farm, Center for Agroecology and Sustainable Food Systems, the soil preparation in organic pepper farming starts the autumn before our growing season. They sow a cover crop during the fall before the year they want to grow chilies. About a month before transplanting pepper in the spring, they blow and incorporate their crop into the soil so that their field will be enriched with organic matter. About 14 days later, the tractor plows again in order to make beds. After plowing, farmers irrigate the field, although there is no crop. Sprinklers irrigate the raised beds. In this way, weed seeds germinate. Farmers spot those weeds and remove them. This technique is most often used in rice farming. About a week later, they transplant the young pepper seedlings. Transplant is performed either very early in the morning or during the afternoon. Pepper planting and plant spacing. How many chilies to plant per hectare and acre. Outdoor pepper farming starts mainly during the end of winter, provided temperatures are close to optimum levels. In some countries, pepper seedlings are transplanted outdoors during the second half of spring. Producers in countries with proper climate continue the transplanting until early autumn. Pepper producers eventually harvest from summer to winter. After all the preparation steps, we can proceed with transplanting. 
Growers label the exact points on the polyethylene coating where they will plant the young plants. They then dig holes in the plastic and plant the seedlings. It is important to plant the seedlings at the same depth as they were at the nursery. Producers plant their pepper seedlings either on single or on twin rows. The distances may also differ between stacked and unstacked plants. These are the most common patterns. As a result, we will approximately plant 18,000 to 45,000 plants per hectare. The distances and the number of plants depend on the pepper variety, the environmental conditions, the irrigation system, the pruning formation, and of course, the yield goals of the producer. Pepper pruning. Do peppers need pruning? How to prune peppers? Pruning is an important procedure and provides several advantages. However, not all pepper varieties need pruning. For those who do, pruning enables farmers to control the vegetation. Moreover, pruning leaves extra space for aeration, preventing fungal infections. Besides, harvesting becomes much easier. In general, unpruned peppers have a tendency to produce numerous peripheral sprouts and leaves. The extra foliage makes it difficult for the producer to manage the plant. The necessary pruning procedure includes the removal of the peripheral stems. Producers keep only the two to four sprouts on the plant. This way, the plant has a more flexible and manageable shape. Many producers also perform thinning. They remove the stems that grow between the sprout and the foliage. It is crucial to try not to cut the stem too close to the vein. Instead, you can consider keeping a 4 cm distance to avoid infections. On the other hand, pruning and stacking increase labor costs, which may be balanced if the harvesting period is long enough. Pepper plants stacking Most pepper producers use stacking for their peppers. This technique provides several advantages. First, it prevents foliage and fruits from touching the ground. Moreover, harvesting becomes much easier. Outdoors producers use stakes and tie the plants gently on them. Pepper pollination. Peppers are self-pollinated plants. This means that farmers do not need to use insects to boost their peppers pollination. According to studies though, insects could fasten the maturing procedure of the fruit. However, producers should be really careful in case they grow together sweet and chili peppers. If they plant chili peppers close to sweet peppers, it is possible that the sweet peppers will convert into chilies. The reason is that very often sweet pepper plants allow the pollen of chilies transferred by the wind or insects to pollinate them. In order to avoid this effect and lose the commercial value of your products, a proper technique is to leave a long distance between chilies and sweet pepper farms. Pepper harvesting. How and when to harvest chilies? The majority of peppers reach their full maturity and are ready for harvesting two to three months after transplanting. Harvesting time depends on the pepper variety, the environmental conditions, and of course, the age of the transplants. In general, colored varieties mature later than green varieties do. On large-scale commercial outdoor farms, producers use mechanical equipment during harvesting. However, in most cases, Producers collect peppers manually. The right time varies. Many producers harvest when fruits have an acceptable size of their variety, but at the same time remain crunchy and green for the green varieties. The colored varieties should have just started to obtain the characteristic color of their variety. This is crucial, especially for peppers that are going to be transported for long distances. The harvesting period may last several months. Thus, farmers collect fruits in more than one harvesting session. Chili's yields per hectare and acre, yields in pepper farming. A good yield after years of practice is 25 to 50 tons per hectare. In some cases, experienced greenhouse producers may achieve a yield of up to 100 tons per hectare. However, these yields are achieved from professional growers after several years of experience.